in this pouch is the wireless mic microphones. So here are the batteries. And we have both a wireless receiver. You see this at the back. There is actually a transmitter. So this is a transmitter of the wireless microphone and this is the receiver. So from the transmitter you connect to a micro to a microphone, the clip one mic. It looks like this. So this clip one mic is you basically plug in here. Screw it in as high as you can. And you'll be able to clip this onto the speaker. Usually on his collar. And this will be used to record uh, his voice. To open the battery battery hatch, there's two buttons by the side. Just press, just squeeze it and pull out. You have battery battery compartment. The on off switch is over here. Just press and hold and the power will come on. So that's the transmitter. The receiver, this is the receiver. So the receiver is used to receive audio signal from the transmitter. Same same logic, just press and hold, press the sides, battery compartment opens. And you can slide in the batteries, turn it on, and you plug this, plug this in with this cable, and screw it in. Right, and the other side is an XLR connector, which is a three-pin connector. This one connects to the audio interface, the Yamaha C1. So you plug this into the back. Usually, I'll use the first interface, my one. Plugging is very straightforward. Just make sure the two the, the, the groove. It's facing the top. Let's plug it in. Okay? It only goes in one way. So this will be used to record the audio. You're going to use close micing with this one. Basically, close micing means the microphone is very close to the speaker. This will pick up the best quality audio. If you don't, you find this too much of a hassle to set up, so you can ignore the audio interface as well as the wireless microphone and just use the camera's microphone to record. So the Q2HD itself has a pretty good microphone over here. So you can use that to record the audio as well.